Hello, I'm Lindsay Zilli, Senior Program Strategist for Take Action Global, a climate action education organization excited to share. Hello, I'm Lindsay Zilli, Senior Program Strategist for Take Action Global, a nonprofit organization dedicated to climate action education for all. The best way to ensure a thriving future for people and the planet, where we've transformed our lifestyles and established sustainable patterns of learning, working, and living is through behavior change. The best, most cost-effective way to do this is through education. We at Take Action Global bring the expertise of educators. A team of educators ourselves works diligently to connect you with climate experts in the field in order to empower you to take action. Climate change is something that we all are. <sighs> Hello, I'm Lindsay Zilli, Senior Program Strategist for Take Action Global, a nonprofit organization dedicated to climate action education for all. The best way to ensure a thriving future for people and the planet where we've transformed our lifestyles and established sustainable patterns of learning, working, and living is through behavior change. And the best, most cost-effective way to do this is through education. We at TAG are a group of educators dedicated to climate action education. We have a large global network of climate scientists in order to connect those experts in the field with teachers so that all parties feel empowered to take action. No other organization empowers more teachers and students in more countries and TAG is just getting started. Education must be transformed in order to catalyze the fight against climate change and to support a just transition to a more sustainable world. We at TAG are dedicated to professional development experiences rooted in best pedagogical practices in order to ensure that climate action education is integrated into the work students and teachers are doing on a regular basis. At TAG, our com community is of educators, students, parents, and partners. We believe in experiential learning, and we do this in online global collaborations and learning experiences within our communities. The content we provide is project-based learning with professional development, instructional resources, and including thought leadership. From 2020, 2017 to 2022, we had some 3.4 million students and teachers and over 153 countries involved in our work. Today, that number is closer to 4 million students and the number of countries involved in our work grows every single day. Our partners and supporters help our work thrive and survive in this global community. We've partnered with places like the United Nations, World Economic Forum, NASA, LEGO, Cartoon Network. We've also partnered with thought leaders such as Jane Goodall, Princess Esmeralda, and Prince William. We have a special Climate Action Day in November in order to celebrate the many voices that are advocating for climate action education, whether it's global leaders, celebrities, teachers, or students. All are welcome to attend this full day free experience on climate action education. Climate education has several steps to implementation. Along the way, we've included these steps in all of our processes and in all of our programs. Step one, develop a coalition for action. As we said earlier, our coalition is large and only growing. Our network of over 4 million students and teachers is at the foundation of all of the work we do. We pride ourselves on having a diverse global network so that nobody feels like they are doing this work alone. 
In addition, we have multiple opportunities for our network to collaborate online. We have several different communities of practice, which I will share with you more later. But in those communities of practice, teachers are able to filter out the noise from the world and truly focus on the good work they're doing in their classrooms. Whether it's asking questions, connecting for virtual exchange opportunities, or swapping lesson plans, our communities of practice really help teachers feel like experts in the work that they're doing. Step two, support teacher and student creativity. We never want to limit our teachers and students by our own creativity. In all the work that we do, we model best practices while encouraging our students and learners to iterate on the ideas shared with them so that the work makes the most sense to their locus of control. Teacher support is incredibly essential in order for us to create a sustainable and systemic change. Finally, step three is capture learning to advance impact. We find it tremendously valuable to celebrate the work that our students and teachers are doing on a regular basis. We don't want to be the only voices in the room because we know the smartest person in the room is the room. So we use our platforms to amplify the voices of our global network to advance the impacts that they're having from just their community to a world of possibilities. In addition, we have multiple opportunities of recognition for success. We celebrate and share the work that all of you are doing in the hopes that it will inspire more educators to do the same. But we do know that there are emerging disruptions along the way. As a community, we believe in an asset-based community development approach. Therefore, we look to the good. What is working? and how can we apply those solutions to opportunities of growth? While there is tremendous transformative potential in digital technologies, we have to be able to harness those technologies for the greater good. By building on hope and optimism, we are able to capture learning experiences that are goal-based and project-based instead of just consumption of knowledge. The challenge of creating decent human-centered work is about to get much harder with the introduction of artificial intelligence, automation, and structural transformations that remake employment landscapes around the globe. But we are up to the challenge. We regularly integrate these new technologies into our programming so that teachers can leverage technology to create climate solutions for their students. You never have to be the expert in any of these areas. We help provide the training in order for you to feel confident and comfortable implementing strategies within your own classrooms. We do know as a community, we are climate resilient. This includes individuals, collectives, and personal efforts to help mitigate against climate change and its underlying technical and social drivers. We aim to help strengthen you in order to approach these climate conversations within your classrooms. We know that sustainable competencies are a combination of knowledge, skills, and attitudes that constitute what one can do. We try to provide greener, more sustainable pathways for students and teachers to take action for their people and planet. And the transformative capacity of our individuals, communities, and societies to transform individual and collective consciousness is so powerful. And we leverage that network of mindsets in order to create these resilient conversations all across the world. Climate learning is at the heart of our work. This encompasses skills for green jobs, green life skills, and skills for green transformation. At TAG, we champion learning with a strong emphasis on developing these skills within knowledge, attitudes, and a variety of skills that you're already integrating in your classroom right now. These skills enable individuals to contribute to a more sustainable world, from knowledge of climate change and its solution to intrapersonal skills, we aim to, in, to foster pro-environmental and pro-justice attitudes in people. If you look at the lists on the screen, 
you'll notice that there are many words that are already being implemented in your classrooms today. Things like collaboration, growth mindset, empathy, environmental stewardship, entrepreneurship. So if we use these skills and training that is already happening, but look at them through the lens of climate, we're really in, um, galvanizing our students to become advocates for a greener, more sustainable planet. This leads me to our flagship and most transformative educational experience, our Climate Action Schools program. Our Climate Action Schools program is one that helps inspire and mobilize young people as agents of change, empowering both teachers and students to design solutions for climate challenges while integrating really amazing climate action education lessons into their daily experience, experiences. TAG is at the forefront of reimagining what future education can look like, and our Climate Action Schools program is one of the main reasons we are able to do this work. Each member of our Climate Action Schools team brings a specialized expertise to help foster a sense of collaboration while maintaining this tech-enhanced and tech-enriched environment, which is always science-backed. This approach, approach aligns with our mission of empowering schools, districts, and networks to globally take action together. Our team within the Climate Action Schools program is diverse in both location and experience. This global team that is across vastly different time zones, but comes together into, in order to support a network of climate action schools. Some of our backgrounds include ed tech, literacy, digital citizenship, web development, marketing, human resource, people and planet, grants, education, climate science, and science and social studies, just to name a few. Each of our experts and facilitators helps guide our teachers along the 10-month program that is our Climate Action Schools program. Our work at TAG spans continents and cultures, connecting millions of students and teachers worldwide through projects, professional development, digital advocacy, and learning summits. We provide the tools and opportunities for students and teachers to create real world climate solutions. And at the heart of that work is this belief that education for sustainable development is us all. At TAG, we believe that all teachers are climate teachers, no matter what area you teach or no matter where you live in the world. Our program focuses on global collaboration, virtual exchange, and climate action education for all. We're building a generation of young people who understand the urgency and crisis that we now face. We know that they have the power to create solutions to our climate crisis. To do that, we start with conversations with district leadership. We want to be partnered with the schools who are ready to take action and who are a good fit for us and who we are a good fit for. So with our school's lead, school leaders, we share a leadership guide in order for them to understand the scope of the Climate Action Schools program and to ensure that it aligns to the goals and the vision of the school or district we are working with. From there, we then have the great opportunity and privilege to work with climate champions. A climate champion is anyone within the school who is ready to take action for people and planet. You do not have to have a background in science or in climate. You could be a fourth grade teacher, a media specialist, a PE coach, a high school educator. As long as you're ready, willing, and able, we are here to support your efforts. In many cases, schools will have one champion, but in some cases, we have multiple champions at each school. This coalition helps galvanize our teachers and our champions to take meaningful actions within their classrooms. For the first few months of the program, we work directly with champions to help them build their identity of a climate action educator. 
This identity building is very important to us because we want all teachers to consider themselves climate teachers. From there, our next step is folding in educators within their school. So any educator that is interested in implementing climate action lessons within their classroom can receive training or professional development from our TAG facilitators or from their champion in order to feel ready to be a part of the program. We next do a school-wide asset finding mission where we undergo an audit of all of the things that are happening within our school that contribute to climate. From there, we determine a climate action project that would best suit the needs of our learners. And then it's time to bring in the students. The students can then participate in interactive lessons like their Keystone Species activity. They have a visioning activity where they dream big and create vision boards about what their future could potentially hold. They share their Keystone Species avatars with their global audience. They connect with other schools and then they determine a project that they wanna work on and that culminates around Earth Day. Students can attend all school assemblies with their teachers and they can even present at all school assemblies. We want to empower our learners to take action wherever they are comfortable on their climate journey, whether it's small steps of climate awareness or big steps of showcasing and, sharecasing, showcasing and sharing their work with the world. Wherever you are on your climate journey, we are here to support your efforts. Our Climate Action Schools is rooted in five main pillars. The first of which is global collaboration. We pride ourselves on connecting schools around the world with one another. We want people to have access to the amazing opportunities for networking and growing. And so global collaboration is at the foundation of the work we do. We have a community of practice where all of our educators can talk asynchronously, but we also have monthly meetings where educators and champions are able to meet with like-minded individuals and experts to collaborate on lessons, projects, or implementation strategies. The second pillar is digital agency and action. We know that students around the world have different access to digital tools. And so we know it's important for us to share with them how to be positive and appropriate advocates of the work they're doing. We want them to take ownership over this science-based work before they take action. So providing them with the training they need in order to leverage the digital tools that they have access to will allow them to be positive contributors to a growing online network. The third pillar is project-based learning. The program itself is completely based in projects. We want our students to experience the learning and not just sit and get the lesson. So students and teachers will be a part of the experience in crafting their climate action education plan. Students can do things such as creating seed bombs or posters, they can craft a skit or a dance. They can repurpose items from their lunchroom in order to craft um, art installations. It all depends on the scope of the work that they want to do, all of which is experiential. The fourth and perhaps most important pillar to us is equity, access, and inclusion. We want all voices to be represented in the work we do, not just our own. So we utilize our platform to elevate voices that are underrepresented in communities all over the world. We remove obstacles and barriers such as funding uh, by having a sliding scale and including 50 scholarship schools within our Climate Action Schools program. We also leverage the fact that technology enhances experiences by having things such as closed captioning, um, using artificial intelligence to take notes for our learners, but also providing multiple resources in multiple languages so that all learners can learn in the language that makes sense to them. And lastly, that inclusive piece is incredibly important to us. All learners are welcome in the Climate Action Schools program, no matter where they are located in the world, what they know or what they don't know. We want you to feel at home here at the Climate Action Schools program. And lastly, recognition of learning is our final pillar. 
Along the way, we ask members of our community to chart their progress through videos and pictures, blog posts, newsletters, on social media. And within the program itself, we built in opportunities for our climate champions to receive multiple badges, as well as certif certifications for learning. There is a level one climate action school certificate available after the very first PD session. From there, the next certificate is a six hour long training that provides the educator with a level two climate action educator certification. And by the end of the program, climate champions can apply to become a climate action specialist. This recognition of learning is so important to us because it shows your true authentic journey in climate action education. But I'd love for you to hear a little bit more about what the Climate Action Schools program is all about from the actual champions and students themselves. Climate change is a very big problem affecting everyone in the world. That's why we need to take a step in the right direction and prevent climate change while we still can. Be the change, be climate change! Our global schools who participate in the Climate Action School Program have the opportunity to experience a school-wide climate audit. The audit allows members of the school community to examine current practices. We came to the conclusion that recycling plastic and, and reducing its use is one of the most relevant eco-problems in our city. Teachers and students complete an action research project to make a difference in areas that matter most to them. I've made a worm farm in my garden. We started a club where students can freely exchange clothes for the purpose of promoting sustainable fashion. We also encourage our parents to use recycled bags for grocery shopping because we don't want to bring any plastic back home. All the data from all the schools will come together to show the power of collective action. Little actions that add up to big change. We developed an affordable and clean solution by using a small solar panel and the LED light connected to the circuit we developed. We partnered with an NGO that uh, implemented this solution in Africa. And now more than 10 villages have access to light. As you can see, there are some pretty impressive projects, students, and schools that are currently a part of our Climate Action Schools program. But just like Hope said in the video, small actions lead up to big change. So wherever you are on your climate journey, we're here to support those efforts. Our measures of progress include action and impact. We mean it when we say all actions lead up to big impact whether it's introducing vocabulary or a climate awareness campaign or creating a climate summit and having a tree planting ceremony. All of those actions contribute to a ripple effect that then impacts a larger community. This helps us measure the progress of climate action education all over the world. Along the way, you'll have many educators within the tag community happy to support you in your progress. But we also have some climate action specialists within our community that are here to help mentor you along the way as well. Meet Sunanda. Sunanda is an educator in India who works towards integrating climate awareness, action, and education into all the lessons she shares with students. By leveraging the sustainable development goals, she has been able to create a climate festival and create many global partnerships that further spread environmental empathy. You can see Sunanda here with not only her teammates, but community members in front of a ficus tree in the center of her village. The ficus tree is their keystone species and they created this beautiful avatar to represent their school and the work that they are doing throughout the school year. Sunanda has also shared some words of wisdom for you today. Namaste, I'm Sunanda from Delhi Public School, Varanasi, India. This is my third year with Climate Action Schools project and I am delighted to be a part of this wonderful project. Being 
a climate action educator means empowering young minds to be the change makers our world needs it's about inspiring our learners to connect with nature take responsibility for their actions and create a sustainable future to the champions those who are going to start their journey this year champions remember you are going to make a difference stay committed be a learner we all will definitely make a difference together take action together thank you and then there's Alawale Alawale is an educator in Nigeria who focuses on entrepreneurship through creativity and collaboration. He provides various community service opportunities such as tree planning and field study opportunities for his students. He has also shared a message today. Hi, Dr. Olawale Oyemade Oyekomi, social study educator in Randu Junior Secondary School. Apapa, Lagos, Nigeria, a climate action school champion for year 2023-24 and 2024-25 respectively. As climate action school champion and educator, I am thrilled advocating climate change education using mentor-mentee instructional strategy for attitudinal change in learners by exploring, educating, enlightening, engaging, and inspiring students to acquire entrepreneurial skill for creativity, innovation, critical reasoning, and constructive judgment as problem solvers ready to take decisive action for sustainable environment for the individuals and society in general. In short, Climate Action School Champion Program afforded my students and I the opportunity and privileges for cross-cultural relationship, connecting classroom privileges to learn, as well as local and global networking connectivity aimed at change making. Therefore, Year 2024-25 Climate Action School Champion Program is another time for mind-blowing student-led activity for positive changes in the interest of our planet, the Mother Earth for Humanity. Do have a wonderful and uh, life-impacting time as you come along for this year activity. And lastly, I'd like to introduce you to Badria, an educator for the Center for Applied Physics and Basic Sciences in Syria. She partners with local government environmental agencies to spread community awareness. She links the SDG goals with student-driven initiatives to empower their students in order to take action. As you can see in the image here, her students crafted repurposed art utilizing plastic bottles and chip bags. Their recycled efforts were multiplied when they discovered that they could actually stuff the plastic bottles with a number of chip bags and recycle even more than initially thought. Badri has also shared a message with you today. Marhaba, Maakom al Mualime Bedriet Amarini Suria, Mualime Fizia wa Kimia, and a Fahura Jidam Bidori, Kamualim Lam al Manahi, Bimadaris al Amal al Manahi, Lianahu, Hafaza al Mustama al Medani, or Mustama al Mahali, Fi Beladi, Limusharakatina Bil Anshita al Maidani, Waleti Amilat Allah at Taskif al Manahi. 
وايضا اتاح لنا هذا البرنامج التواصل عبر صفوف الافتراضيه مع معلمين وطلاب حول العالم وتبادل المعرفه وتكوين صداقات وبالتالي فتح هذا البرنامج لنا نوافذ كبيره حول العالم أنصح جميع المعلمين بالانضمام إلى برنامج العمل المناخي لأنه يفتح فرصا كبيرة للتصفيف المناخي والتطوير المهني والمواطنة العالمية إضافة إلى الأنشطة النموذجية مثل البرمجة من أجل المناخ وتحويل نفايات الطعام أراكم قريبا Our climate champions are here every step of the way to ensure that you feel supported and can take action for your planet. So what does it mean to be, be a climate action educator? Well, we polled 500 of our network and this is what they came back with. You can identify as a climate action educator if you are someone who is passionate, a change maker, innovative, aware, empathetic, motivated, Notice that these words don't necessarily have anything to do with climate or science. They are just natural qualities that you as an educator possess. Our Climate Action Schools program is a 10 month school-wide climate education learning experience. It onboards in the fall and continues throughout the duration of the school year. Now, in some countries, school happens at different times in the year, and that's completely fine. As we talked about earlier, we start working with our climate champion to get them ready, willing, and able to implement the learning from the climate curriculum. From there, we can take best action steps with our students. The program itself is leveled to K through 12th grade students. However, this year we are piloting a university level group. There are certifications along the way that you can achieve while in the Climate Action Schools program the Certified Climate Action Educator, Certified School Climate Coordinator, and Certified Climate Action School are just a few of the certifications that you, your leadership, and your school can receive by being a part of the program. Our community of practice is for educators and school coordinators to leverage our technology tools online to openly communicate with other champions in the program, receive lesson ideas, a timeline of events, and share their learnings with our global community. We also participate in a guided school-wide data collection and data visualization process. We leverage the Earth Project app in order to do a school-to-school -school international virtual exchange of our data collection or audit. There are school assemblies, home and community communications, and school-wide climate projects that culminate in a tree planting experience. Champions also receive monthly communications from myself as well as supporting schools and they have a network of community members there to support them every step of the way. In this year's cohort, we have nearly 40 countries represented in our 100 global schools within the Climate Action Schools program. We are so proud to partner with schools from all over the world. Some are in-person schools, some are elementary, middle, high schools, some are virtual schools online, several are environmental clubs, some speak English, others speak a variety of languages. Whether you are an English speaking school or not, we don't want that to limit you to being a part of the program. All schools are welcome in our Climate Action Schools program. And I'd love to introduce you to some of them now. One of our climate action schools, the Brighton School in Pakistan, has young learners who experience truly what climate action education is. Throughout their entire year, they invite speakers in, they participate in art experiences, and on this particular Earth Day in 2024, they planted seeds in order to spread awareness about climate action out into their community. They shared these potted plants with their families and community members in order to spark some inspiration within their community. We also have Johns Creek High School in Georgia, USA. You can see on the left-hand side of your screen, the beautiful avatar that one of their high school students drew. 
This is an avatar of their keystone species, the white-tailed deer. On their particular Earth Day celebration, they also passed out seedlings of a keystone species so that students can bring them home and plant them in an area where the trees could not only survive, but thrive. Another of our schools is JCBN International School in India. You can see their keystone species was created using digital tools and serves as their avatar for any global collaboration. On Earth Day last year, they did a flash mob in the middle of their community center. A flash mob is when a group of individuals get together and sing or dance in a surprise manner. The students planned the song and the dance steps, all while holding handmade posters. And if you look carefully, they also created t-shirts with the Climate Action School's logo on the back to share that this is where their impact was coming from. And lastly, we have Morris Union Jointure Commission, a school in New Jersey who is making big changes. This school is primarily comprised of students with special needs who are working towards planting school gardens and implementing hydroponics. We love to visit our friends at Morris Union and see the amazing work that they are doing on a daily basis. In addition, we also have an amazing opportunity within the Climate Action Schools program in the form of virtual exchange experiences. Every Climate Action School is partnered up in quad groups. These quad groups are, you'll be comprised with three other global schools in order to collaborate via virtual exchange. We create uh, interactive facilitation guides in order to help guide your conversations so that your planning along the way can lead in a project that is implemented around Earth Day. Some of the most successful projects have happened within these quad groups, and it allows you to connect with three other global schools in a really authentic and meaningful way. In many cases, once the champions of the group have met, they also schedule virtual exchange opportunities for their students to meet and share information about their background and their school culture as well. These are great opportunities of learning to open up windows to other perspectives and connect students across the world. As we talked about a little bit earlier, we have this beautiful community of practice, which was crafted by our team members. In the community of practice, a profile can be made by a champion, and a champion can then use it to connect within their network. The community of practice itself has a variety of ways to connect and collaborate with other educators, whether it's through monthly activities, or being a part of a group, which I'll share a little bit about in just a minute. They can also add information to the community stream. All of our monthly activities are updated within our community of practice, and it's a beautiful space to get inspired, share your work, and collaborate with others around the world. Our school leaders program guide is shared with all leadership who is a part of the program in order to give them a snapshot of the year. It comes with links to uh, various social accounts and YouTube videos, an overview of the program itself, and those five pillars that we value so highly. In addition, every champion receives an action guide. Within the action guide, they will get a timeline of what to expect each week of the month. Then each month is outlined with handy links, checklists, and to-dos for the next time that we meet as a community. It also includes important links and resources, as well as opportunities for recognition of learning. We also have created a Climate Action Schools Champion Workbook. Here champions will find all of the activities that they will be um, required to complete in order to receive their Climate Action Specialist certification. We start with a visioning activity where champions can dream big about expectations for the future. Then we go to a keystone species activity where they create an avatar based on a keystone species in their area. We then participate in a global handshake, introducing ourselves and our students to our community of 100 global schools. Your asset finding mission is next where you go into your schools and classrooms and, uh, and do an audit 
of all the things that are contributing to the culture and climate of your school. There's then the branching out activity where you meet with your quad groups, a celebration and planning activity for Earth Day, and certification and recognition of learning, all of which is here in our handy workbook. While we're working within our quad groups, we know that it's important to be mindful of the time that you are spending together. So we have crafted interactive facilitation guides to help you have the most meaningful conversations and have some calls to action at the end to lead your follow-up conversations. We want our champions to feel supported in every meeting, whether we are present or not. So these facilitation guides help them stay the course so that come Earth Day, they have some celebrations to occur. And lastly, we have a media kit that we share with our champions. We want them to tell the story that is happening in their classroom. And if we know anything about teachers, it's that they're very humble and not ones to boast or brag. So by sharing this media kit, we hope to help them amplify their voices and share the messages of hope and optimism and climate action education that is happening within their classrooms. This digital media kit includes a digital banner, as well as color schemes, newsletter and blog post options, um, letters that were written for, for their, to invite their administration into their classrooms, and different templates to allow teachers to start from somewhere as opposed to starting from scratch. Along the way, we also have created some uh, short YouTube playlists to help support teachers within their climate action journey. Each of the videos are no more than four minutes long so that teachers can take the time to dig into the content that they're learning about and apply their learnings immediately to their workbook. These are reference guides and tools meant to help support all of the amazing things you're doing to craft interdisciplinary lessons of instruction for your students. And now another new addition that I'm incredibly excited about is our special interest groups within our Climate Action Schools program. This year, we are offering five different special interest groups for teachers to attend monthly meetings or workshops to dig into areas of interest related to climate. Our first network group is our Climate Action Network, which allows teachers to enhance the visibility and impact of advanced climate action practices through diverse media. We then have our school gardening and hydroponics group, which is developing and maintaining school gardens and urban agriculture projects in order to teach sustainability and self-resilience. Then there's our leveraging technology for climate solutions group, which is utilizing advanced technologies to address climate challenges and enhance sustainability our food waste reduction and composting and recycling initiative group, promoting zero waste and effective recycling practices in schools to minimize environmental impact. And then we also have a community partnerships group as well. As we said, recognition of learning is incredibly important to us. So every climate champion gets a badge and school graphics that they can use how they see fit, whether it's posting it on their social media or their digital board in their schools, having it in their email signature or sharing it with their leadership. We want our teachers to really feel um, that identity of being a climate action educator. Our network is strong and mighty and growing on a regular basis. We'd love to have you a part of the TAG family and community, whether it's through climate action schools or one of our other programs or projects that we have occurring. So please connect with TAG, whether it's on social media or following a various hashtags around climate education. You can also check out our website at www.takeactionglobal.org where you can meet a variety of team members. We invite you to connect with us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And then we'd also love for you to meet our resources. We have our website, which lists all of our partners. We have our Climate Action Schools program, which is onboarding as we speak. And we have our free Earth Project app, a tool that you can use to track your carbon and plastic footprint. Whether you use it as an individual teacher, a student, or a classroom, 
it really does show how small actions can lead up to really big changes. Here at TAG, we believe climate education for everyone is everyone. So let's take action for people and planet together.